Hi there, this is Vaidur Rahman and you are watching Geoplanet XYZ. Today we will learn how to georeference a scanned map or exported map which is not georefenced. So, what is georeferencing actually is? According to Annals of GIS, georeferencing means that the internal coordinate system of a map or aerial photo image can be related to a ground system of geographic coordinates. In other words, georeferencing means to associate something with location in physical space. To georeference a scanned map, we need uh, scanned images of map. Here I have this scanned image of Dhaka city and you have to decide your GCP points from your scanned map here. I have decided 4 GCP points here you see that um, one and another and GCP number 3 and GCP number 4 ok. So I have calculated all these GCPs into degree decimal here you are seeing that x degree decimal and y degree decimal which means the latitude value and longitude value for each of this object ID or each of the four GCP points okay let's go to our arc map and then you have to connect your data folder to arc map and go to window menu and then click on catalog okay a catalog panel will appear here and you are seeing that the folder connection button is here and you need to connect your folder you can connect by connect to folder button here or you can right click on this kind of folder connection and then click to folder okay. then connect to folder you want then I am connecting my tutorial folder here to press ok so you are watching that uh, the Dhaka city PNG scan map and also my GCP Dhaka city which is my excel sheet click on Dhaka city map and drag over here and dialog box calling that unknown special reference the following data resources you added are missing special reference or information this data can be drawn on arc map but cannot be projected because this data is not georeferenced so we will georeference data this data click ok and then click this gcp dhaka city xls file then drag over here ok so you are watching in table of content panel the two layers are added there that uh, dhaka city png map which is a scan map and another is our gcp excel file so first of all click on file menu then go to add data button then click on add xy data so here we have gcp excel sheet and uh, we have three field called x field y field and z field z field means uh, the altitude value so we don't have altitude data in this scan map then click on x field okay select x degree decimal and then click on y field select y degree decimal so another option you need to select here that the coordinate system for input coordinate okay so click on this edit button go to geographic coordinate system then go to world click on wgs 1984 okay click ok and you can see the details by clicking on this show details button and then click ok then it's not a important message click ok ignore it just so we are seeing here that one point in this map we can change the symbology of the gcp events points click on there and you can choose any symbol from there i am what uh, choosing this square 3 keep this as default click ok so now we need four points but we are watching here that uh, only one point appeared here so what should we do right click on gcp events and then go to zoom to layer zoom to layer okay then here you are watching total four points have appeared here and as we are georeferencing this scan map we need to add a toolbar called georeferencing you can add toolbar from customize click on toolbar and then go to georeferencing okay. 
or you can right click on here and then go to zero financing click on zero financing and then you see uh, zero financing toolbar appears and drag over here and keep it there okay so first of all we need to display both gcp events points and also our dhaka city map in a single frame for this click on zero friends button okay here you see an option that called feed to display click on this and then you will see the map and also the points are fitted in a single display so you can watch both of them in a single display so first of all we need to assign our GCP points into this scan map so click on this add control point button add control point button and then zoom to the point you want to assign I am zooming in by scrolling the mouse wheel so click first on your scan map this is called point number one and zoom out and then click on the GCP events point so you are watching here that uh, the GCP one I'm assigned to this scan map okay so let's assign another three points I'm assigning the points quickly One thing I want to share with you that uh, more you zoom, the accuracy of your data will be more. Okay, so this is our last point. Click on this, then zoom out. You can see all your four points data from this view link table button. Click on this, then you can see the link, all of this link, and then you can choose which link you want to modify or mostly when you want to delete or add another link so here you can explore the table i'm closing this so now we have to finalize our last option and then this option called go to zero fence and here you see two options called update zero fencing and rectify so what is update zero fencing Update georemancing means that the save the current drop to the dataset or you can rectify the map save the current drop to a new dataset. So we will rectify this. Click on rectify. Then here a dialog box called save as you can choose your folder where you want to look at this data new rectified maps. So I am choosing my tutorial folder at here and then you can choose which type of file you want to keep so uh, I suggest all of you that uh, tiff is good enough then rename it as Dhaka City rectified okay then click on this save button it will save okay so we want to see the rectified image then click on this tutorial folder right click and refresh here you are seeing that uh, a rectified image already added in this folder then go to a new window here okay i'm clicking this blank map and click okay i don't want to save this on map as scratch file no okay so here our Dhaka city rectified map go to rectified Dhaka city rectified map right click on it and go to properties here drag to down and then you are seeing that the special reference is here undefined you have to define the special reference go to edit menu then Go to geographic coordinate system go to world and then select wgs 1994 okay 
so apply okay that's all so drag over here again and no message arrived and you are seeing that the decimal decrease of this Dhaka city map has already added and you can also see this go to properties and then go to source here you can also see this extent of this map top left right bottom extent and also the special reference so click ok here you can check another option in add data button here is add base map click on this and a base map dialog box will appear here here you will see total 10 base maps from history are there so you can choose any one of these base map to check your georeferenced map so i am choosing this dark gray canvas i have already added this to my table of content so i am showing you that this dark gray reference map here so our map have already georeferenced clearly that was the process of georeferencing scan map or uh, exported map which is not georeferenced if you learned something new please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for getting every new videos if you have any question feel free to ask in comment section below thanks for watching